Hi, it's Paul Anderson, and this is Disciplinary Core Idea PS4C. It's on information technologies and instrumentation. And so IT is becoming more and more important in our lives. And what we're really doing is bending electromagnetic radiation and other waves to our means. And so an example of this could be the functional MRI. And what this guy's looking at is really a picture of a brain that's operating. And if it weren't for electromagnetic radiation and IT, we really couldn't do that. And so again, to, rem to remember what electromagnetic radiation is, it's everything from radio waves to gamma rays. And the light you see right now is going to be just a portion of that. So visible light, we would say. And so what's some, some examples of how we're using this to make our lives better? Telescopes are an example of bending visible light so we can see what's in the universe. And microscopes allow us to see what's inside the very small, inside our cells. But also know that there's invisible radiation that's also important. So your phone is picking up radio waves, and it's also transmitting that radiation through waves as well. And so we use invisible and visible radiation to make our lives better. So what's some examples of technology? How does an x-ray work? It's using x-rays. And those x-rays, as they move through our body, move through some of the soft tissues readily, but the harder tissues like bone, not as well. And sound waves can be used. So this is an ultrasound. We can look at a picture of a child inside its mother using the reflection of those sound waves. We can also use that to get a picture of what our world looks like. And so this is sonar. What they're doing is, is sending sound waves down into the ocean so we can map what the bottom of the ocean looks like as it reflects back. And then finally, we could even send waves out to space. And so this is a mirror that was dropped off by the Apollo 11 astronauts. We can shoot laser beams up to the moon. It can reflect back and we can measure with great precision how far the moon is away from the Earth. So these are all applications of waves. And so how do you teach this? Well, in the lower elementary grades, you want to talk about their senses. And so what is vision? Vision is picking up visible light using our eyes. And what about our ears and hearing is picking up vibrations in the air as sound. And our hands can pick up vibrations in matter or material as well. But they should also understand that we have different senses. And so we have senses, for example, a telephone is using and picking up waves from a totally different area and it's transmitting that to, to the listener. As we move into the upper elementary grades, we want to start talking about lenses and how lenses can bend light. And so as light hits a lens, what happens is it's moving from one medium to another and it's going to be slightly bent. And so what we get is a change in the angle of that light. And therefore, we can use a series of lenses to magnify distant images or images that are very, very close. And so this is the application of visible light. Also, they should understand that electromagnetic radiation can be used to transmit information. So for example, right now you're watching a screen and that's pixels, which are really a bunch of numbers that are being um, crunched together to apply my image on your computer screen. And so we can transmit, transmit that from computer to computers using IT, using information technologies, and we can make it visible to you. As you move into middle school, you want to talk about the electromagnetic spectrum. Make sure students understand that there's only one slight part of this that we can actually see. That's the visible portion. That's a light that you can see, but there's also this invisible portion as well. And so we can use a lot of that invisible portion to send information. And so a simple telephone is using this, this um, electromagnetic radi radiation to send it through a wire, but a radio would just be using radio waves to do the same thing. And as we move into the digital age, what we're really doing is taking information, storing it digitally, storing it in zeros and ones, and then transmitting that information. So the Wi-Fi in your computer is simply radio waves transmitting digital information on your phone as well. As you move into high school, you want students to understand that we have two ways of transmitting energy from place to place. That is as a particle and a wave. And what's interesting about electromagnetic radiation is that it's both. And quantum theory allows us to understand how that occurs at this quantum state. But students have to, don't have to understand the quantum theory to understand that scientists use that to produce semiconductors, things like diodes and transistors and microprocessors. And we use that to make our lives better. We can use it in x-rays, we can use it in sonograms and mapping the bottom of our planet and even sending messages to the moon and back. And so electromagnetic radiation and how we bend it to our will is really, really important. And I hope that was helpful.